Hello, David Dominesi here. We've gotten to the point now needing to clean up our tool rests for the grinder. These are pretty heavy duty. They're about six inches by five inches, and they're just about an inch thick, 900 thousandths or so. They're quite heavy. They're on a nice post there, but they have some need to be leveled off. It'll be a nice project to clean them up. I think we'll use the Mitsubishi face mill. I've turned it into a fly cutter, by leaving only one insert in. All the others are gone. And so that'll make it a three inch fly cutter. The interesting part is going to be how do we hold these? So I think we'll put them on a magnetic chuck on the mill. Because the tool rest has this post on it that is five and a half inches, it makes it hard to hold it. We could make a jig to hold it onto the table of the mill, but since we're only fly cutting, we could put it on our old brown and sharp 6x18 magnetic chuck. It's here stuck in the Kurt vise, and it'll work perfect. I have indicated it in, and it is within a thousandths and a half from one end to the other, and two thousandths from side to side. I used a file on any high spots on the bottom, and I think we'll just set it down right here. Using a magnetic chuck in this way is not too good of an idea, unless you're prepared to take very light cuts. The face mill is wide enough to do the entire tool rest in three passes. We'll take light cuts, we'll see how many times we have to go over it to get down to the bottom of our biggest trouble. We've gotten down below our lowest spot. I think that one's a wrap. One is done. Hit it with the sander a little. 
to get rid of the wavy lines that are formed by the fly cutter. This area here, that's the deep pitted area. And that's all gone now. They're both done and installed now, and they came out pretty good, didn't they? I've got the proper clearance, 16th of an inch, and they really came out good. Very nice. Very happy. Okay, we got some mill detailing going on here. Good job, young man. Good job. Clean it up good. I don't want to see one fingerprint. No chips, no fingerprints, no grease, nothing. Isn't this fun? No comment. The work's not done till it's clean. Is it clean? It's already clean. I'm going to bring the white glove over in a few minutes. <laughs> uh oh, another sliver. Let me zoom in. Is it a sliver? Let me see. It's really small. It's, it's, it's really small. Let me see it. It's, it's really, it's, it's really small. See it. You can't see it. It's, it's huge. It's really, Whoa. It's really small. I don't know how you can handle it. It just hurts. Are you doing this to get out of cleaning? No, it, it really hurts. All right, let me pause, and then we'll get the axe out and fix it, and we'll be right back. All right, we got the humongous sliver out, and we're back to detailing. It was huge, and it hurt. You said it was small. It was